so today we're doing a uh, review on Jeep Air's AC installation. Uh, this is a YJ we installed in, and it works really good. In the summer, it got a little hot. It did get a little hot, and the floor, we have to insulate that further. But y'all stay tuned, and we'll go over this, and I'll also bring up the floor and show you what we did to it, and what we need to do. So y'all stay tuned. So to get this in, I was, first I sprayed with a little PD beat blaster to lube up the tube. Okay. Oh, so much dead. <laughs> this is why you don't touch capacitors. One. Boom! <laughs> He just sees the broom. Ha! So in this review of this AC that I could not install because I had the illness that has no name right now, um, we're just going to go over the basic uh, how to use the AC from Jeep Air, and then, of course, the install that I didn't do and then the corrections made to the install. So, if you're using your AC and you have it wired up basically correctly, you just come in the Jeep and turn it on. The AC will come on and uh, to the last setting you have, and it blows really cold. set to max cold. That's pretty much it for how I use it. You got two knobs and uh, if it's wired correctly it just turns on. Now let's go ahead and start the Jeep. Man the light's bad in here. So let's go ahead and start the Jeep and uh, see uh, how it works and uh, you'll hear the compressor come on. Of course maybe not because the Jeep is loud. Okay, so now we're going to start it. I have the Jeep Ag gear. And it starts, and it instantly blows cold. Now, if I go ahead and turn off the AC, you'll hear the Jeep engine change as the compressor turns off and then on again. And then you can turn it up, and it gets really cold. Now we do have to do a little bit more insulation on the floor in this Jeep because in the 90 degree Florida weather, the boom mat is not providing adequate shielding. It does help deaden the noise, but with the catalytic converter under the floor here, a little warm. Now to install the AC, it just under here hangs up by just bolts under here or screws. Now, you do have to make a connection to your fuse panel and it's not connected. It's connected up there to uh, ignition source that turns on with the key forward, but not the radio. If you see that red and blue wire going up. So in the engine compartment is where I redid a lot of the wiring to this because I didn't like it the way they had it wired. And we'll start with up here. So if you see right here, this red wire, there's only one red wire here. They had it in a rubber band, rubber band to this with no wire loom. And uh, I didn't like that. So I put wire loom over it, have a little zip tie here. But this runs to your dryer which is right here. You can see the connection right back here where it connects to. From the dryer, it runs in to, and I have the wire loom, you see I made a T right here. I have it running back behind the battery through holes I already had for the audio equipment. Also did a rewire project putting in these bus bars. Really good. Where, they installed it, they drilled a hole through the firewall back here and then put some goop on it and there were some jagged edges. Wasn't going to leave it like that. 
So when they installed this, you know, of course, this bracket was already here, so it was really easy. It was almost plug and play. Everything on this is plug and play. But they left it so loose that the belt squealed all the time, so I tightened that up. Then, if you look down here, these rubber hoses, this hose was pressed up against this radiator uh, thing, and it was kind of digging into it, so I pulled that off of it. It's really easy to make my adjustments. Don't get too rigorous if you have to do that. Now on the fan itself, which I have, still have to rewire because the fan is wired to just turn on with the ignition on. But I did put an aftermarket fan here. You see this fan right here? It, uh, it really helps cool down the Jeep. It actually n never gets high anymore. And because the fan clutch on the mechanical fan was going out. But I do have to wire in, put a relay in to turn on this fan when the AC's on. But if the AC's not on, it will wait till the thermostat connection I have unplugged right now because I have it direct uh, wired to turn on. The issue with this, you can't just wire this wire into the positive here, is because the the radiator fan turns on with a ground, so it has an open ground until the temperature gauge reaches a certain temperature. The compressor turns on with a positive, so you can't wire them two together, it'd be a direct short. Now the directions sent with this install for Jeep Arabs AC are awesome. They're easy to follow. There isn't many wiring connections you have to do on this. Straightforward. You have a ground and a couple positive connections. One for, it's just like installing a radio almost. So simple, without the speaker wires. And the mechanics of this are easy too. The only thing I would have had to do if I didn't have the illness that uh, we shall not name and installed this, is take it to an AC shop and get it charged. Because I don't have the tools to charge an AC. I've done it before, but I'm not gonna buy them. So the compressor comes already uh, with oil in it, so all you have to do is charge it. This compressor made in America, and the Jeep Air system, Jeep Air is in Florida. So if you're in Florida where it's hot, you need AC, check out Jeep Air. Okay guys, so the AC in this Jeep, while we still have some more things we need to do, it works wonderfully, especially if it's not hot. <laughs> Well, it's still kind of warm here in Florida, so it does work very well. But it was when, um, oh, it was when it was really humid in about August and July. And it was almost 100 degrees, it, so. It was a little, he said it cooled, but it didn't cool, cool. Mm -hmm. And well, that's probably because we need to insulate the floor a little bit better. Well, mom okay. was mom was sitting in the back seat. Oh, burn my feet. Yeah, the Cadillac converter runs right under there and it was a little bit too warm for it. Right. So we do have to put some further insulation down. The boom mat is not cutting it. It worked fine when just the windows were down, all the windows were down, there was enough air circulating. But with just the AC, that's a lot less air that circulates. But it does blow really cold. Yeah. But I had a convertible with a black top and in the summer, it was never cool. It never got cool. No. You'd arrive at your destination 30 minutes later and be like, oh my gosh, it's finally cool. No. Maybe. I think it's just uh, soft tops. It is. Can kind of. Because we had a geo tracker. Yeah, that, that you see, yeah. yeah. You, you turn that off so you could get the boost so you had power to go up the hills. But other than that, it, it was, was just. soft top too, so. Yeah. It just sucked ass. That's all it did. But the Jeep Air AC is pretty good, and it also does produce a lot of uh, cool temperature. It was very reasonably priced. It was, yeah. and it's very easy to install. Mm -hmm. I didn't install this one due to unexplained reasons, but very easy to install. And uh, if I had to do it over again, I would have installed it myself. Well, he rewired it. So, yeah, I did. I mean, all it was is what plug and play and rewire. Yeah, and you had to charge the system. Whichever had the oil in there, you just had to put free on. 
So our son was impatient, and so he took it into a mechanic to have it installed. And uh, because <laughs> my husband was really sick, and <laughs> yeah, well, for about two weeks, I was really sick. Yeah. So, but hey, if you uh, got hot and hungry watching this video, or it bored you to death, talking. either is, or it bored you to death, go check out our recipes. Really yummy, really good food and really good for you. So all basically all the ingredients we use are pretty much off the shelf and not a lot of sugar and stuff like that. I don't forget the box. She doesn't. So go check that out. If you like this video, hit the If you like this video, hit the like button down there. It looks like this. If you like our channel, subscribe. And y'all please take care. Bye. Y'all stay tuned. You. That's just mud. That's just mud. Oh, yeah. You just pressure wash it. Look around. <laughs> Stop being like that. No. Repeating. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> so bro guidance. PG eighteen. Twenty. Old. PG eighteen. No. Get on with it. Okay.